USC football, Corey Foreman make Dorian Thompson Robinson pay for absurd trash talk. To say that USC football has been dinged up throughout the entire second half of the season would be a massive understatement. Travis Dye is gone for the rest of the year, and even with Jordan Addison back last week, he was still on a pitch count. Health will be massive this week, as UCLA presents the toughest challenge USC has played this season. USC Football Injury Report at UCLA Eric Gentry suffered an ankle injury in USC football's game against UCLA and had to miss the last three games after he had to miss the end of the Utah game. USC Football WR Mario Williams probable. It actually remains to be seen what Mario Williams' injury is, but he's missed the last three games for USC football. USC Football TE Jude Wolf, out indefinitely. Jude Wolf has been out for USC football all year with a foot injury, and was supposed to be back for the second half of the season. USC Football QB Mo Hassan, out indefinitely. One of USC football's backup quarterbacks, Mo Hassan, ruptured his right Achilles tendon during the offseason, and there's no true timetable to when he'll be back right now. USC football DB Joshua Jackson Jr., out indefinitely. Joshua Jackson Jr. is yet to play this year for USC football with an undisclosed injury, and there's no word on when he'll be back. USC Football DB Adonis Ote, out indefinitely. Add USC Football DB Adonis Ote to the list of players who haven't played yet due to undisclosed injuries. USC Football DB Britton Allen, out indefinitely. Britton Allen hasn't played this year yet due to a knee injury, and USC Football hasn't indicated when he'll be back. USC Football RB Travis Dye, out for season. Travis Dye is done for the year after injuring his knee in USC Football's game against Colorado.